Good morning, y'all goats, man. Today, we have a new update for Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker. We should be getting some new shops and a new event change, man. So with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel and enjoy these videos, make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all been going crazy on the update video, so let's try to get 500 likes on this video. I know you guys could do it. Y'all been showing so much love. I have been going live on Twitch every day, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitch right here. So if you guys want to play Shinobi Striker with me or anything else, but with that being said, let's hop into the video let's go let's see what they brought us i know so we're back with the updates so i actually uh just got out of work i want to apologize for this video coming out late um yeah because the last couple weeks i always upload it literally just when the update happens but i didn't work those days some days i caught off and i didn't call off just to like you know make an ss update video that's insane i actually have stuff to do but yeah i did uh, just come home from work so this video will probably drop at 9 or 10 but we have ninja world league 103 still going on we have onoki's birthday celebration this will be on october 8th not gonna lie bro i am going to be on sparking zero on this day the journey begins on sparking zero so i don't know if i'm gonna be doing an onoki video probably not to be honest i would like to but sparking zero is dropping got a little crazy on that but october 8th make sure i do log in you get onoki's birthday guest title 2024 and 210 10 exchange tickets man so yeah so here we do have a new healer feature lineup as you guys can see the rhombus blade is finally back from the boroshiki dlc update we have the healing type outfit embroidered wind chan and we have for men and female and then we do have the healing type accessory flight feather and soaring wings we'll look at this outfit later and see if it's good the weapon's pretty fire though you got a new tenton exchange shop lineup as well man here we have the sakura and agnata healer weapon very good science of a ninja tool violet soul attacker weapon Science of Ninja Tool, Smoke Flash, uh, Ninja Tool. I already said that, my bad. And we got Celebratory Outfit, I mean, no. How about Kitty? So they're, re they're returning a lot of Celebratory stuff, man. So that's fire, y'all got to get that. So that is the new Shane Shop and the new Healer Shop. Let's go look at all the shops now. So as y'all can see, man, we have the same feature lineup from last week. We have the Sage Arm, Monstrous Chaos here. We have the Formal Wear Blossom Storm for men and women. We have the accessories as well and the Violet Petals Attack. So I'll leave videos on everything in this shop. I did rate it last week. It's a pretty decent shop. Outfit's cool. The weapons are fire and the accessories are right. So yeah, man, that's the feature lineup. Still has not changed. We'll be changing October 10th. The Summon Animal lineup is the same as last week. We just got a new one last week and it will be here until the 12th. Well, actually, uh, December 19th, 2024, we have Attacker Ninja. I don't know how do you... We have the Healer Ninja Hawk, Wako, we got Supplier Ninja Hound, Jinrai, we have the Attacker Ninja Hound, Kagehomura, Healer Ninja Hound, Hanakirin, and Supplier Ninja Hound, Samadair. Now, I actually did not show this, but there's actually a lot of SS items you can get from this. So, you could get um, Kagemasa Sword, Thunder Sword, Kiba Release, Red Flying Swallow, Ninja 2 Scatter Rain for Healer, Raging God Medicine, Super Tough Medicine, Kimimaru Han Outfit, Tayuya Outfit, and yeah, you actually could get a lot of stuff from this. So, if you guys want to get a lot of this rare stuff, a lot of cool stuff in here, man. So you guys can try to get that in this uh, lineup. So we have the attacker lineup still the same, man. We have the awesome Ninja Knuckle Knives. We have the Custom Ninja Outfit Attack Type for men and female. We have the accessory B Mask. The range type shop is the same. We have Ninja Blade Uchiha. Custom Ninja Outfit range type for men and female. And the accessories Endless Knight and Mullet Knight. Uh, the attack one will be changing on October 17th. This one will be changing October 31st on Halloween. Defense type is the same shop as well. We have the Science of Ninja Tool Frost Hawk custom ninja outfit defense type for men and female and we have the accessory iron cheek and steel horn this will be changing on october or not october november 14th 2024 so yeah man again the healer type shop did change man here we have the scientific ninja tool rhombus blade healing type outfit um for men and female we'll look at the stats in a bit healing type accessory flight feather and soaring wings so pretty good healer shop man his weapon's cool outfit's pretty good we'll look at the stats later so yeah here we have this new exchange shop, man. This will be changing on October 17th. Again, Sakura Naginata, Violet Soul Attacker Weapon, Science of Ninja Tool, Smoke Flash. Let's look at the stats on this outfit right now. Swift Resolution. Um, boost close range attack power also increases movement speed when at low health. However, reduces the user's health recovery. So you have no stuff that will recover your HP. 
This is a pretty good stat. You will get close range attack power. And you will get movement speed when you're at low HP. So that could be kind of clutch. So yeah. And then we have critical moment. Boost maximum health. Increasing the use of damage when at low health. However, also increases sub cooldown time. So you're gaining some good buffs like max health and Ninjutsu damage. But you're not be able to sub as much. So that could be bad or it could be good depending, bro. I think that's more bad, but I like the little buffs it gives you, so I don't know man, it's 50-50 for me. And then we do have these this stuff down here. Um like you get black kibosaur, all this stuff, man. This looks crazy on my character, but yeah, you get this stuff over here. Let's look at the let's look at the event rewards now. So here's the event rewards for Ninja World League. It is now base battle week. So here are the rewards again as last week. It has top ranker Ninja World League 103. 1010 tickets as Turk Scrolls. Um Cad Devere. Um we got Ink. We got more scrolls. Tonary outfit. We got Ryo. We got Mitsuki Battle Garb. Start outfit 2. Valuable scrolls. Quality. Celebratory outfit. And some more stuff down here, man. So make sure I do grind up. Again, I do be live on Twitch if you guys want to play with me. So make sure I do follow that. So you guys can play with me and you know win. So here are the stats for this healer full outfit healing essence yin man. Boosts ninjutsu damage and increases health recovery. How it also increases ninja two cooldown time. So this is good because you get more HP recovery overall. But if you have a healing tag or maybe like a master medicine, you won't be able to get that as much. But when you do get it, it will be boosted in uh, health and you also get damage if you have damage ninjutsu. So I think that's a pretty good stat. We have Jade Healer, the bottom skill boost attack evasion and maximum health. Hybrid also shortens the length of negative effects dealt to enemies. So that's a really good stat. Because healers usually don't have jutsus that, you know, debuff. Unless you got a certain build. So I like that stat as well. This is a really good healer outfit if you guys are a healer main and need a healer outfit. Definitely would recommend this. And then we do have the accessory skill just desserts. Instantly refill some health when you reflect an attack. That's a pretty decent stat. I would probably use something else, but that's not bad. Overall, this outfit is pretty good though. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. No, the, you know, the way it looks though, it's a little crazy, man. My character, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta switch back to my character, my main character for real. Alright, man, so everything that's new today, I actually do have a video up on my channel on it. So the only thing I don't have a video on is the Sakura Naginata. And again, I don't think I'll be making one because um, Sparking Zero is gonna drop. But this is a W healer weapon, as you guys can see, has the one hit stun. Very good for combos. Look at this. Very good. Look at this. Boom. Very easy. Boom. Boom. Oh, very easy man this weapon is fire if you're a healer main again i would recommend this weapon as well just like the outfit sakura naginata was once one of the best weapons it still is one of the best weapons but like no it's the age of ss plus weapons um it's just it just it's good still but you know it just it those ss plus weapons do too much but you cannot go wrong with this weapon man you cannot go wrong with this weapon bro for real you can't it's an OG staple of Shinobi Striker, man. And second thought, man, if you guys do want that Sakura Naginata video, comment down below and I could do it today. You know, I feel I feel like I'm in that mood to do upload like always on a Thursday. But listen, man, with that being said, again, make sure you guys do follow me on Twitch. I have been trying to daily live stream. We actually did hit 100 subscribers on Twitch. That means, you know, like gifted memberships and stuff like that. So I do appreciate the support. And again, you guys be asking me to stream. But I really be on Twitch, bro. I'm telling you, I really be on Twitch. If you don't have the Twitch app, just download it on the App Store, just like YouTube, make an account. And you can be in the chat and vibe, bro. I'm telling you, I'm trying to be a very active streamer on Twitch. I can't do YouTube because, like, when I stream on YouTube, and I'm just going to be blatantly honest with y'all. When, when I stream on YouTube, and then, like, I'm uploading videos, I don't know why it messes up the views, like, overall on my channel. Even though it should be doing better because I'm streaming and uploading. It just, it messes it up. So, I prefer to stream on Twitch. You guys can play any song you want to. It's a vibe, man. I'm telling you, it's funny as hell. So, yeah, make sure you guys do follow me on Twitch if you guys do want to play Shinobi Tracker today. Um, so, yeah, man, I'll leave it again on the screen. But with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys do think about this update down below. We should be getting some new unreleased items next week. But, um, you know, like I said, I will be on Sparking Zero, but I probably will upload that update video. I'm going to try to mix both in, man. So I do hope you guys enjoy the Sparking Zero content in like four to five days. I'm going to try to mix in SS and uh, Sparking Zero. I really do hope you guys enjoy the content and support me, bro. I'm trying to go crazy and hit 40k, maybe 50k this year. So any support does mean the world to me. But with that being said, comment down below if you guys thought this was a W or L update. I'll be looking at the comments, man. I always do. 
But with that being said, I do hope you guys have a blessed morning, night, day, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys later for a potential second upload, man. Peace.